As I mentioned earlier, the first fundamental law of physics that was discovered by physicists were actually using astronomical observation, namely the exact law of Newtonian gravity was actually understood only by the observation of Tycho Brahe's accurate data of planets moving around the sun. So, we have the idea that gravitation is a force and before Newton, one thing was known about gravity and that was due to the experiment of Galileo, now popularized by the story of the experiment conducted of dropping of two objects from the top of the leaning tower of Pisa and here you can see uh, schematically it is shown that even if you drop an elephant and a 10 gram object from the same height they will land on the ground at the same time. That means the acceleration of an object in the under the action of gravity is independent of the mass. This property that acceleration of any object is independent of its inertial mass was discovered by Galileo. Then Newton, he showed that the laws of Kepler, Kepler using the accurate data of Tycho Brahe, he determined several laws. First law said that the planets in equal time, they sweep out equal area. The second law says the orbits of all planets are either circular or elliptical in nature. Third law said that the planetary orbital period, the square of it is proportional to the cube of the distance. Here, for example, you see the in equal time, equal amount of area is swept out. Now, this law actually follows from conservation of angular momentum. However, the nature of the orbits, namely circular or elliptical, how did it come about? And this was explained by Newton. Newton, he discovered by his genius that if you have two objects of inertial mass m1 and m2 respectively, then the force of attraction between these two objects is given by some constant which we today call Newton's gravitational constant multiplied by product of the two in inertial masses divided by the square of the distance between them. And Newton guessed at this law by noticing that falling of the earth, uh, apple or any object on the surface of the earth, the acceleration is about 9.8 centimeter uh, per second square, while moon which is rotating around the earth, its centripetal acceleration is much much smaller. So because the moon is at such a high distance, while any object like apple close to the surface of the earth is at low distance, this relative difference in the acceleration from that Newton could guess this inverse square law for the gravity. And once Newton had arrived at the inverse square law uh, of gravity, he immediately used his laws of motion along with the Newton gravitational uh, force law to deduce that planetary orbits necessarily have to be circular or elliptical. And he also explained from his the third law of Kepler which said that square of the orbital period of planets is proportional to the cube of the distance of the planet from the sun. So as you can see laws of gravitation which were fundamental laws for a particular force called gravity was actually deduced from the study of heavenly objects.